Madeline, I hate to spring this on you at the last minute, but would you be up for meeting us in about 30 minutes to an hour? What do you mean? Aren't you having dinner with your parents? Are you sure you want me to go there? Yes, please, if it's not too much to ask. I want you to come pick us up. We all drank a little too much and needed someone to take us back. James, you drove the car there, remember? How am I supposed to get there now? Can't you just call a taxi or find some alternative solution? If we all get a taxi, it's going to cost a lot of money. It'd be much better if you could just drive everyone. I don't have any way to get there. Can't you just call a taxi or something? <laughs> Oh, so you expect me to foot the bill too, huh? News flash. I have my own life, you know. I'm not just at your back and call all the time. Oh, don't throw your little tantrum and say such mean things. You know I'm sensitive. My parents refuse to take a taxi, so deal with it. If you're so concerned about money, why don't you just hop on a bus like a cheapskate? If you leave right now, it'll only take you like 15 minutes or something to get here. Hey, I literally just walked in the door from work and all I want is a nice, relaxing bath. Can you please try to figure something else out? If you take a real quick shower rather than a bath, you can still make it here on time. So, will you come pick us up then? You are being really selfish right now. You know I need my time off. I don't get much anyways. If you're so worried about money, just get them a car back home and you take the bus back. But you know how much I wanted to treat them to dinners, so I can't just let someone else drive them back. I want to make sure I give them a proper night out instead of just sending them home without me taking care of them. Plus, both my mom and dad mentioned that it would be nice for you to stop by and say hi at least. But I don't want to. Huh? You can't spew that kind of nonsense at me. Oh, let me guess. You're throwing a fit because we didn't invite you to come along. So now you're trying to get back at me with this reckless attitude. I've already explained why I don't want to. But now that you bring it up, it did sting a little that you never thought to invite your own wife for dinner. Of course, I knew it. I had a gut feeling all along. Since you weren't invited to dinner, you've now resorted to pouting and throwing a little tantrum like a toddler. Well, this isn't the first time you've left me out. So trust me, I didn't have any high expectations. But you know, you can at least holler from across the house and ask if I want to join, even if you don't actually want me there. I'm not saying you have to invite me every single time. But it would be nice if you did sometimes. And if you're not going to invite me, it would be great if you didn't get so wasted that you need me to take care of you every single time. Oh, so you were just dying to join us for dinner, huh? It's a family reunion over here. Even though I'm a grown adult and we're married, my dear old mom and dad still treat me like their little baby. And you know what? I love it. It brings back all those nostalgic memories from my childhood, so I enjoy having meals with them all by myself. It's just not the same when you're around. Ah, okay. I hope you're enjoying yourself then. I'm doing this for your sake too. For my sake? What do you mean by that? Wouldn't you just be bored to tears if you had to eat with my family? That's precisely why I go out of my way to avoid inviting you. That level of kindness and understanding, well, I inherited it from my dear mother, you know. Anyways, get your lazy self over here and pick us up. We're all set and ready for our ride. My parents don't want to spend a single penny more than they already have, so you better hurry up. And if you manage to come and get us, I might just give you an extra brownie point for being a halfway decent wife. I get it. I will get out of my relaxing bath for your drunken mistake. I am going to get dressed and get ready to come get you. I'll even get on the bus and ride all the way over there for you. Thanks. We'll be waiting for you. When you get here, make sure to call me so I know that you're here.
Hey, James. If those ingredients your mother sent finally came in. Oh, finally. It took a while. This is perfect, too. They came in on your day off. So what did they send? Is there any crab in there? Yeah. She put some crab in the box. It looks like there's all sorts of seafood in here. Are you serious? That is so awesome! I am absolutely beyond excited. We're going to have one amazing feast tonight. Better start prepping for it. Even though I'm not allowed to eat any of it. Huh? What do you mean by that? Your mom just messaged me. She asked if the food that she sent for you came in yet. When I told her that you got it, she wrote back. Make sure you don't eat any. I got it all for James. My mom does have a harsh way of putting things sometimes. Eh, who cares? That's just how my mom is. <laughs> James, do you not think your mom being mean to me is an issue? Especially saying I can't have any food she sent us? But she was like this for all my other girlfriends, so this is just normal to me. I guess I just got used to it. Look, we started with a long-distance relationship, right? Before you were able to move here and live with me, you didn't get much of a chance to meet my mom and dad, so I don't think you've had much of an opportunity to get used to it either. The issue isn't whether or not I'm used to it. It's more than just that. It seems like she deliberately doesn't say anything nice about me anyways. Besides, have my parents ever said anything mean about you, James? Hmm, I cannot remember a time they did. That is because they haven't said anything mean about you. If they were to send us food or anything for that matter, they'd want us to share it and enjoy whatever it is together, because that is normal. I guess that's because my mom loves me as much as she does. My mom just can't let me go as her baby. <laughs> Please don't just say that and call it the end of the conversation. I will make the dinner tonight, but I will not use the ingredients your mother sent to us due to how she treats me. If you want to eat them at all, you're going to have to be the one to prep and make the food yourself. What? Come on. Now you're being ridiculous. Just cook the food and we'll eat together. My mom sent it knowing she doesn't want me to eat alone, and if she did, she would have told me. I think it would be good for us to eat it together then. I already told you. I don't want to eat the food she sent. I'm sure my mom just doesn't like how bullheaded and stubborn you are. My mom just wants to be better friends with you, so you should be nicer to her as well. Don't you want to be more friendly with her? Of course, I want to be closer to her and be better friends with her. That's why even from the start I was trying as hard as I was. But no matter what I did, it just wasn't good enough for her. That and she always responds to everything I say with sarcasm. Ah, I have an idea. Do you think you can take some time off from work next month? We've been thinking of taking a family vacation for a while now. I assume we're just going to leave me here and not invite me. No, no, that's wrong. We were talking about you coming along too. Are you serious? Are you just saying this to make me happy? No, I'm being honest here. I also thought it seemed unusual for my mom to want to invite you too, though. But don't you think this would be a good chance to become better friends? Maybe this is a good chance for you and my mom to meet halfway. I find it hard to believe seeing as she went out of her way to message me something so rude today. But it's like you said, she went out of her way to message you. Maybe she's playing hard to get with you. Look, her inviting you is the truth. I already told you that. We're going to a spa hotel for two nights, and I think that this would be a good chance for you to deepen your bonds with my family. I've not caught in an opportunity to go on a vacation recently. I do want to go. However, if I do, I'd really rather not be left alone with your mother. I want you to be with me too, James. Of course, that goes without saying. It'll be fine. I'll follow you two closely. I assume the rooms will be separate, right? Yes, of course. That much is a given. My parents will be in their own room. Alright, I understand. Well, I don't want to give talking with your mother a good shot. 
Besides, who knows what will happen if I go? Yes, exactly. You're getting it now. Yeah, I suppose it is important for us. Well, then I'll start looking into different spa hotels that we can vacation at. Awesome. I'll leave that to you then. Oh, by the way, my mother would like to request an open air bath attached to her room. She also said thank you for all your help. Really? I didn't think your mom was the type to enjoy an open air bath. I think this is a good opportunity to treat her a bit. Well, I guess that's fine. It's just much more expensive. Well, then I will leave everything in your hands then. Thanks. This will add another point to your good wife and now good daughter-in-law point tally. Madeline, I'm sorry to change things at the last second. Did you manage to find a bus headed there? Besides, you're not really upset, are you? It's no big deal. I expected something like this to happen. However, I sure am not happy or feeling anything good about the situation at hand. I planned this whole vacation and yet somehow, I still got stuck taking a bus separately from everyone else. Not just that, but I found out literally the day of the trip. I cannot believe that you not only suggested to take the bus, but also said I should take it alone. I can't help it. It's because my mom's suitcases wouldn't all fit in the trunk, so there was just no way to get everyone in the car. And then I have to drive them, so I can't be the one taking the bus. I could drive them, or they could drive themselves. Or better yet, your mom could take the bus by themselves. Don't be stupid. And both my mom and dad said that they would rather not go at all if they had to take the bus. How could you bring so much stuff that she can't fit it all in the trunk? We're only staying for two nights, so that makes no sense. Even if I gave a list of everything she brought, you'd still have to take that bus anyways. Weren't you the one who prepared everything? You knew how small our car was to start with. You could have made plans to rent a bigger one. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, I'm at the bus stop, so the bus should be here in a minute now. Bye. Yeah, I better go get my parents now anyway. Wait, do you know where the car keys are? I can't find them in the place we usually put them. Yeah, they're in my pocket. What? What are you saying right now? This isn't a good time to be joking around. Do you think you all can come here and get them yourselves? Stop messing with me. I already told you my mom has a lot of stuff she wants to bring. And now you're saying that I can't even take the car anymore since I don't have the keys? Come back home now. I just found a perfect boss that will take me there. So I can't. Sorry. Oops. I got on and it just left. Well, then get off the bus at the next stop and come back here as soon as possible. At this rate, you're going to ruin our vacation. You know that, right? Oh yeah? Well, my vacation was ruined from the start here. Surely even someone like you can understand what I'm saying here. Isn't it convenient that the day of the trip your mom packs too much stuff and... So she needs to take up my seat as well, making me ride a bus? Your mom was thinking about this and you knew full well she wanted to do this from the start. But you gotta understand, my dad and I are still here and we want to go. Now we are thinking that you aren't being much of an adult here. You know, you and your dad are also my enemy from here on out. Huh? We didn't do anything though. You were just bystanders, and since you knew what was going on and didn't try to fix it, it means you approve of everything your mother is doing. Any normal person would try to stop the problem, right? But you and your dad did absolutely nothing to be on my side here, and you especially should be on my side since you are my husband. You're supposed to look out for me. Instead, it's all mom, mom, mom. What are you, in love with her? Well, my mother's harassment means that she likes you. It's like kids in elementary school who are mean to the girl that they like. I think it's cute. At least you acknowledge that it is harassment. 
But I have no idea how you could consider that cute or at all an acceptable way to treat someone, especially your wife. You should be on my side here and if you don't understand why you really need to sit back and think about it for a bit. I honestly cannot believe you and how you have handled this situation. I get it. I'll apologize then. So please, come back. That way, we can go on a trip. My mom agreed that she'll let you get in the car and we can all go together. So please just come back. If I was allowed to do it now, I should have been able to do it in the first place. Not after this long. Saying it now is just too late. I'm not coming back because of how poorly you all treated me. Why do you have to be so bullheaded and stubborn? Even though I apologized, you're still acting like this. I'm sorry. Did I miss an apology? Because I sure did not see or hear one from me. You already know why my mom picks on you. My mom isn't the only one with bad habits. I mean, look at how you're treating the situation. For starters, how mean you are. What did you just say? Who's the mean one here? Are you sure it's me? Do you have any idea what I have had to put up with until now? Who's the one who's been just sitting and laughing at everything their mother does to me? Alright, if you want to act like that, when we get there, my mom will just scold you left and right. And you'll not be able to run away. She'll make sure to teach you how to be a proper wife. Hey, where are you? I can't find you anywhere at the hotel. They said you canceled our reservation here. Yep, I made reservations for myself at a different hotel. Huh? A different hotel? I figured since I don't have work or anything else to do, may as well enjoy myself. And just by chance, this place had a single room available. I guess I got pretty lucky, huh? But our hotel room is gone. We don't have a place to stay. They said it immediately got reserved for someone else after you canceled. So we can't even stay here. Where are you right now? My mom, dad, and I are headed there right now. There is absolutely no way I'm sharing that information with you. Well then, where do you expect me and my parents to stay then? Nothing else is available. You purposely did this. You wanted to take the bus just to do this to us. I have no idea where you should stay. Figure it out by yourselves. Even though you were the one who canceled on the day of the trip, you know I'm not getting back any of the deposit money since you canceled on us. Oh, I'm aware. But I was the one who paid anyways. So I don't really care what you say. You'd go that far to have a struggle for a vacation? Of course I would. I already told the staff downstairs that if you come asking for me, I don't know who you are. I suppose maybe you all will not change your behavior now, huh? My mom is absolutely livid right now. And what of it? Don't you think now would be a good time to apologize to her then? Anyways, you better find us all the hotels around here that we can stay at, and quickly. After you're done thinking about the future of our relationship, you're eventually going to have to give in and come back to us. The future of our relationship? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> what? I think it would be a good idea if we ended up getting a divorce. That's why I was willing to go as far as I did. Because I knew that I wasn't going to stay with you. A divorce? I have nothing to do with this situation. This is between my mom and you. No, it absolutely has to do with you. Everything I said earlier was your fault, like you not helping me out. This isn't just a marriage issue. This is an issue about yourself. You need to see what kind of a person you are. You allow your mother to trample all over me and mistreat me for no particular reason, and you never support me. Then you come around and say I have problems and I am the mean one? Yeah, I'm done with our relationship. That was all. Well, you were the one who stole the car keys on the day of our vacation. 
I lost my temper a bit too, though. Didn't you say the day of our vacation that it would be a good idea for me to take the bus by myself? What kind of crackpot theory is that? I still think a divorce is a bit of an exaggeration, though. I already apologize for seemingly taking my mom's side instead of yours. But I love you, Madeline. That's why I married you. You let your mother harass and bully the person you love as you sit by and laugh. I don't need that kind of husband in my life. But I told you, I'm sorry. Especially that I didn't take it seriously enough for your sake. I told you that I was serious and pointed it out to you and all you did was get mad at me. Now we're sitting here saying that you didn't take it seriously? I'm so sorry. I can't do anything but apologize. However, I want to stop talking about a divorce. Why is that? Is your mom not the number one girl in your life? My mom is really precious in my life, but Madeline, you're important to me. Well then, why don't you think about the future of our relationship a bit? If we're planning to live with each other the rest of our lives, whenever you're with me, you will never speak of or about your mother again. I will cut all ties with your side of the family. Would you be willing to tell her that I never want to see her again? Thanks. Huh? If you can't do any of that, we are getting divorced. If you are going to allow your family to harass me and bully me, I never want to be with you again. It's not really harassment. It's not harassment? I came here via the bus. Did your mom really need all the stuff that she filled up the car with? Was it really more important for her to bring all that stuff than for me to go there together with you guys? Well... There you go. Now you should understand what I'm talking about here. You were the one who suggested I come on this trip so I can be better friends with your family. I'm sorry. But I don't want to cut ties with my family, and I don't want a divorce. I'll even make my mom apologize. Please, give us one chance so we can be happy again. I have no interest in having any sort of relationship with any of you. Do you even understand what the definition of divorce is? I have the resolve to go through with this. I'm tired of your apologizing and I don't want to hear it from anyone either. My mom said she just tried calling you and you didn't pick up. Do you not understand what I mean when I say I don't want any relation with any of you? I understand. My mom stopped calling. So please, just stop. I really don't want to get divorced, Madeline. Then you understand what you have to do, right? Tell your family what I told you and how I feel now. And also tell them that I want nothing to do with any of them. Then we'll stop talking about a divorce, right? You'll forgive me then, right? Forgive you? You must be absolutely insane. Huh? James, your mother wasn't the only one who did say mean things, was she? You are no saint either. After this vacation, I'm going to stay with my family. If you really care about me and you really want to be with me, and be a real husband, then you will come over every day and apologize every single day. Do you understand what I'm saying here? But well, you aren't putting me in an easy spot here. Well, I haven't been in a good spot at all. Until now, have I? Even if someone is treating you coldly, you should deal with it, right? You really don't want to get divorced, huh? I'm sorry, Madeline. I did some reflecting. I want to apologize for how I hurt you. Please, don't go stay with your parents. With everything you called me and said to me, I have a hard time believing you. If you truly want to win me back, you're going to have to prove it through your actions. If you aren't willing to come and show me that you value me, then I will not forgive you. But I know it'll just be so awkward. Well, if you can't come and apologize to me, You'll just have to live with your poor decisions forever, and until then, I want nothing to do with any of you. After a few hours of searching, they finally managed to find a hotel room. It wasn't as fancy as the first one, 
but it definitely beats sleeping in a the car. Their vacation didn't give them much chance to relax, I heard. Once the vacation was over, I kept my word and went back to my parents' place. James, on the other hand, made it a point to apologize every day after work. Despite what his mother said about divorcing me, he showed no interest or intent in doing so. Instead, he visited my parents regularly, getting closer to them with each passing day. As for my mother-in-law, I upheld my promise and refused to engage with her ever again. I assured James that if a similar situation ever arose, I would divorce him immediately and cut ties completely. Thankfully, blocking my in-laws spared me from having to deal with such a situation again. Soon enough, my husband followed my lead, which significantly reduced the stress we had been facing. At first, my parents were a bit distant towards him, but he understood he deserved it to some extent. However, once the dust settled, I moved back in with him. We finally learned to support and care for each other before anything else. It's because of his efforts that I believe we can make our relationship work.